When the pandemic struck, I took on the engineering challenge of sanitizing packages, especially large ones. And the Terminator Mega turned out to be my first real engineered product with surprisingly high demand. This demand led to the birth of the Terminator Mini for homes. I got amazing feedback for both of these and the response was overwhelming. But even with the Mega, there was always one question everyone had in common. Can we make it bigger for like bigger packages? And I realized we couldn't protect ourselves from this virus unless I made a Terminator big enough to, I don't know, fit an entire room inside. And since that's not practical, I built this, the Terminator Turbo, the robot that can clean anything in any room at any height at any angle in the fraction of a time it takes to rub everything down with sanitizer and bleach. Well, how does it work? We use the same UVC tube lights as in our disinfection chambers and have mounted them on this. I call this the drawbridge. The drawbridge can get down to any angle and is mounted on a sliding frame that allows it to go up and down to any height. We have this, the front flip out floor cleaner that can clean two feet of floor simultaneously as you clean things on the side with the drawbridge. To keep the operator safe, we have a 2.5 mm thick polycarbonate shield that flips open like this. It's fully battery powered so there's no wires dragging around on the floor to prevent cross contamination and the machine even has UVC tube lights in the front and back to clean their own wheels. Whether you want to clean tables, door handles or railings at different heights, bars at different angles, patient beds, curtains, surgical trays, breathing machines, patient carrying beds, or even my favorite, complex gym equipment, the Terminator Turbo can get it all. It's not what my mother was expecting when I told her that after 17 years of existence, I'm finally going to the gym, but hey, we have a, we have a pretty clean gym now. Uh, the benches, the bars and the machines, no matter how tall or weirdly shaped, the Turbo can get at anything. Also, not only can we clean floors two feet at a time with the front flip out floor cleaner, also drop the bed and we get three more feet of floor cleaning power. I can hear the question already. Whoa, whoa, whoa Mihir, how do you know it's doing anything at all? Well, we know that UVC light in the right dosage can break apart the nucleic acids of the coronavirus, rendering it ineffective. So now, all we have to do is calculate the UV intensity produced by the drawbridge at different distances from it and make sure to go slow enough so that every surface gets the right dosage of light. Well, how do you know how fast you're going? Easy, add a speedometer. The wheel at the back flips out and uses an encoder from an Otis elevator to tell me up here on this display how fast I'm going. I've even programmed the encoder to tell you what speed to go at for different distances of UV exposure. So why can't we just mount UVC tube lights straight up a pole and have the robot drag them around? Well, this tower design creates so many shadows that sanitizing everything in a room requires solid robot mapping technology. And I'm not talking about obstacle avoidance, I'm talking about mapping technology. What I mean by this is we can't just have the machine run loose like a little Roomba blinding people everywhere it goes, cleaning what it feels like when it feels like. Though this may cover an entire room, it would take hours. We needed to map out a room and systematically clean its virus hotspots, like these fancy robots can. They're extremely cool, check them out, links in description. Now, assuming I have the skill to basically make a self-navigating car in two months, the tower design still has one big challenge, especially in relation to the coronavirus. The greater the distance between your light source and what you want to clean, the slower you have to move. Not only this, but since the tubes are frozen in place, there's no way to get them up close and personal on the tops of tables to clean the floor or angle down to weirdly shaped objects. So after a little digging around, I found on the internet this, Dimer UV's UV Hammer. Dimer is an insanely cool company and I decided to build my own version of the UV Hammer. The catch, it had to be done in seven weeks and I had a $300 budget. A lot of grinding, drilling, sanding and painting later, the Terminator Turbo was born. This project has a million parts from a million and a half places. Bearings from roller skates to slide this monstrosity up and down, windshield wiper motors from a car to winch up the drawbridge and angle it, UPS batteries to power these tube lights, encoders from Otis elevators to tell you how fast you're going, and my favorite, this door closer from my bedroom's bathroom door to maintain tension on the drawbridge. In two days, I'm leaving for college. And hopefully four years from now, I'll be a half decent electrical engineer. So I wanted this Terminator to have the best engineering I was personally capable of. Ridiculously robust sliding mechanisms, intensely intricate actuator mechanisms, UVC calculations, guaranteed disinfection with this encoder mounting. Even with all this excellent engineering, I cut out one extra hole for a switch. And I decided that since this has an inverter on it, let's add a plug point and make it the world's biggest portable phone charger that can charge my phone over and over 14 times, you know as as one needs to do. 
Oh yeah, also, it's a standing desk. And a sitting desk. It's kind of a home theater. It's a dog feeder. An artisan tea brewer. It's a reading lamp holder. And of course, it's a grape feeder. <laughs> On a more serious note, this extra plug can be used to power any other sanitization equipment you may have while you're cleaning a room like fumigators or bleach dispensers so that there's no need to run long virus catching wires everywhere. And well, there you have it, the Terminator Turbo, the machine that can kill the virus from pretty much anything. As always, emails in the description for questions, comments, designs, or if you want to give this cute good boy a home while I'm off to college. Stay safe and please wear a mask.